All right, friends and neighbors, I wanted to talk to you about a little something different today. Over the years, we've talked a lot about, man, just a wide variety of networking topics, servers, builds, all kinds of stuff. But recently, I've had a number of conversations about the job market. And so I thought I would take a look at a job description and then cobble together a couple of, you know, uh, descriptions from various places and then see if we could address going after a particular kind of job. Now, there are lots of reasons why folks come to this channel. Sometimes it's just to pick up something that they're learning about. Sometimes it's because they're job changing or sometimes because they're trying for that first job. But no matter where you are, I think this other series will, will help. So we're going to continue on with the regular networking stuff that we do, but I think I'm going to add for at least a short time this additional series of videos on, hey, let's take a look at a job and see if we can either land it or grab some knowledge towards that particular target. So the one I chose and the one that you know bubbles up to the top is a network engineer. Now, network engineering can be a wide variety of things, right? You might be talking about data center engineering, security engineering, management systems, but the general category is network engineer. And so whether you add an adjective to this is immaterial. So I thought this would be a good place to start. And here's one description. Now, I didn't, I'm not gonna tell you where I pulled these from or the company or anything like that, but these are sort of the general descriptions that you find. So as a network engineer, you'll be responsible for analyzing and troubleshooting network issues, design and deploying of network solutions and ensuring the security and reliability of our clients' networks. Okay, in order to do that, right, you have to know something about a wide variety of networking topics. Now, what we know about troubleshooting is that it requires domain knowledge, right? And then some problem solving. Those are our, our big ones. So we'll talk a little bit about those. Certainly on this channel, we've covered a wide variety of domain knowledge or a wide variety of the topics in domain knowledge. So maybe what we'll add is a little bit on troubleshooting and problem solving. So you work closely with our clients to understand their business requirements and develop customized network solutions to meet their needs. Now that sounds a lot like a network design problem. Network design problems are loosely broken up into brand new, what we call greenfield, and sometimes uh, expansions or brownfield uh, builds where something already exists and you're trying to improve upon it. But that means that you have to have the ability to analyze what was there, right? Understand how to look into a network, the network topology, the network traffic, the business requirements in order to come up with a solution. So you got to have that match between what they need and what uh, what should be added or what should be built. In addition, you'll be responsible for monitoring network performance, identifying areas for improvement, and implementing network upgrades. So this is all about the management side of the house. How are you going to see into the network? And so we see management protocols, management techniques, visibility, and understanding how we can peer into a network to find out what's going on or query the network to find out what's going on. All right, so these are all directions that we can add playlists or videos to to help us get a better handle on those kinds of ideas. Here's another description of network engineer. The ideal candidate will have a strong knowledge and experience in network topologies, including routing and switching, firewall configuration, and network troubleshooting. Well, some of that is what we've already talked about. What we haven't done too much about on the channel is firewalls or at least uh, the firewall appliance. Now we've done a lot on ACLs, but firewall and access controllers or, or filters are not exactly the same thing. But we can certainly add a little bit more there. And we can start to build a playlist that we might call Network Engineer that you can just do sort of one-stop shopping. The candidate should have experience working with different protocols and technologies such as TCP, uh, TCP IP, VLANs, VPNs, and wireless networks. Well, that's what we're all about here on the channel. Now, what we're beginning to see here is that if you study a whole bunch of topics, you will know a lot about all of those topics. But 
do we have the proper application for them? And so when we look at job listings, we can get an idea of how we might apply those, those pieces of knowledge that we have. And again, we see the return to strong analytical and problem solving skills. Uh, so they're, they're essential for this particular position as well as the ability to work independently and collaboratively in a team environment. So there you go, can you work by yourself and work with other folks? Now here is a list of all of the specifics of, you know, this is taken from a variety of them. And so if you just peruse this list, you can pause it, whatever, but you can see that there's a couple of things that they're after here. They, they want some experience, they want a degree of some kind, they want some programming. And then all the way at the bottom, in addition to the particular topics that they want you to know about, you know, ACLs, VPNs, protocols and all of that stuff. Uh, there are some certifications listed there, so we can certainly take a look at those as well. So what are my takeaways for this particular sort of job listing? Well, we cover a lot of the topics in the channel, but we haven't done too much on the integration of these ideas. And so if we were really targeting trying to get a job, then maybe what we ought to do is see where all of these things go together. You know, work through some topologies, not just building them and getting them done, but how would you troubleshoot them? What are the things that you might look at in order to fix problems? How would you look at a particular scenario and then say, here's a particular solution? So maybe some analytical skills as well. We see the degrees and certs are sometimes specified, as is a programming language. Now, most of the time, your network engineers are not going to be software developers, but certainly your ability to manage scripts or some Python code helps quite a bit. So, maybe it's time for a packet quest. Let's see if we can get that job, or at least head in the right direction. Then along the way, we'll make sure our packets get to their destinations.